Hello children, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 8, Chapter 4, Practical Geometry, Exercise 4.2. See now, when two diagonals and three sides are given, let us see an example. Construct a quadrilateral ABCD, given that BC equals to 4.5 cm, AD equals to 5.5 cm, CD equals to 5 cm, the diagonal AC is equal to 5.5 cm and the diagonal BD is equal to 7 cm. Now first let us draw the diagonal AC equals to 5.5 cm. Let us mark 5.5. Now let us join them. Now let us mark them as AC and write down the length 5.5 cm. With A as a center, we shall draw 5.5 cm arc. So let us take 5.5 cm now. So let us draw with A as center 5.5 cm arc. Next, with C as a center, we shall draw 5 cm arc. So let us take 5 cm. Now we shall draw the arc from C that coincides the previous arc. Now mark this point as D. Now let us join AD and CD. Now with C as center we shall draw 4.5 cm arc. Let us take 4.5 cm now. Now with C as center we shall draw an arc. They have given BD equals to 7 cm diagonal. So with D as a center we shall draw an arc of 7 cm that cuts the previous arc at point B. So let us take 7 cm now. Now let us draw an arc of 7 cm from D that cuts the previous arc. So now these both arcs meet at a point B. Now let us join B, D and B, C. And also we have to join AB also. So first let us join BD diagonal. Now join AB. And also join BC. Therefore here we have taken AD is 5.5 cm. Next CD we have taken 5 cm and we have drawn both arcs. They meet at point D. Here base we have taken AC that is 5.5 cm. Next with D as center we have drawn an arc of 7 cm. Next from C we have drawn an arc of radius 4.5 cm. These both intersect at point B. Then after we have joined BD. Next, AB and BC. Therefore, ABCD is the required quadrilateral. See now exercise 4.2. First question, construct the following quadrilaterals. In that see the first sum, we have to construct a quadrilateral lift that is LIFT. Where LI is equals to 4 cm, IF equals to 3 cm, TL equals to 2.5 cm, LF equals to 4.5 cm and IT equals to 4 cm. Now let us draw the base that is TL equals to 2.5 cm. Now first let us draw the base TL equals to 2.5 cm. Let us mark now 2.5 and let us join them. So mark them as TL 
Its length is 2.5 cm. Now with T as a center, we shall draw IT that is 4 cm arc. Then L as a center, we shall draw LI equals to 4 cm arc. So let us take 4 cm now. With T as center, we shall draw an arc. And L as a center, we shall draw another arc. Now both arcs meet at a point I. Now join IT and LI. Now mark the lengths as 4 cm each. Now with I as a center, we shall draw 3 cm arc. So let us take 3 cm. With I as a center, we shall draw an arc here. Next, they have given LF equals to 4.5 cm. So from L as a center, we shall draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm that meets the previous arc at point F. Now let us take 4.5 cm radius. With L as a center, we shall draw an arc that cuts the previous arc. Now mark this point as F. Now we shall join IF. Next TF. And also join LF. IF they have given 3 cm. And LF they have given as 4.5 cm. Therefore LIFT is the required quadrilateral. See now exercise 4.2 second sum. We have to construct a quadrilateral gold where OL equals to 7.5 cm, GL equals to 6 cm, GD equals to 6 cm, LD equals to 5 cm and OD equals to 10 cm. Now let us see how to construct quadrilateral. Let us take GD equals to 6 cm as base. So let us draw now 6 cm line segment. First let us mark the points, then join them. Now mark these points as G, T and write down 6 cm length. Now we have to construct the triangle L, Z, D so that with G as a center we have to draw an arc of 6 cm. Next step. With D as a center, we have to draw 5 cm arc. So first let us draw an arc from G. So we have to take 6 cm length. Now G as a center, we have to draw an arc. Now with D as a center, we have to draw 5 cm arc. So let us take 5 cm now. Now with D as a center we are going to draw an arc of radius 5 cm. Now both arcs meet at a point L. Now join GL and LD. So let us join GL. Now join LD. So L as a center, we shall draw an arc of radius 7.5 cm. So let us take now 7.5 cm. So we have taken 7.5 cm. With L as a center, we shall draw an arc. Next, they have given OD equals to 10 cm. So D as a center, we have to draw an arc of radius 10 cm. 
So let us take 10 centimeter. So we have taken 10 centimeters now with D as a center. We shall draw an arc that cuts the previous arc at point O. Now we have to join OL. Next we have to join OG and also we have to join OD. So first let us join OL. OL length is 7.5 cm. Next. OD we have to join. OD length they have given as 10 cm. We have drawn already LD. Its length is 5 cm. We have also drawn GL. Its length is 6 cm. Now we shall join OG. Therefore, GOLD gold is the required quadrilateral. See now question number 3. We have to construct a rhombus B E and D bend where BN equals to 5.6 cm and DE equals to 6.5 cm. Now let us see the construction. First, draw a line segment BN of 5.6 cm. So let us draw BN 5.6 cm line segment. Here 5 after 6th line that is 5.6. Now let us join them. Mark them as BN. And write down 5.6 cm. We know that the diagonals of a rhombus always bisect each other at 90 degrees. Let us assume that these are intersecting each other at a point O in this rhombus. Hence EO equals to OD equals to the 6.5 half value that is 3.25. So we have to take this value. Now what we have to do is let us draw perpendicular bisectors from B and N and they both meet at a point O. So let us draw perpendicular bisector. More than half, let us take radius and draw an arc from B and N. Again on the other side also with same radius, we shall draw arcs from both B and N. So we have drawn now perpendicular bisector from B and N. Now let us join them. We have drawn here dotted line. Now this one meet at a point and name it as O. So this perpendicular bisectors meet at a point here O. Now with O as center we have to draw arcs of 3.25 cm radius to intersect this perpendicular. So let us take 3.25 cm. So this is 3.5 in that half value. So 3.2 and 3 in between you mark. So 3.25 radius this is. Now with O as a center we shall draw arcs that intersecting this perpendicular bisector. So this part is 3.25 cm and here this part is also 3.25 cm. Now mark this point and mark this point as E. Now we have to join them. First let us join DE. Now join BD. BD. 
next dn now join be and also join en therefore b e n d bend is the required quadrilateral today we have seen class 8 chapter 4 practical geometry exercise 4.2 hope you all like this video if you like this video please like share to your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching